Hello. Right, we're back. We're back, motherfucker. Right, that should be everything should be good. Ah, well, it seems to be working fine now. It's great. It's it's really cool the internet because sometimes it just doesn't really work, and there's no obvious reason, and then. You just turn your router off and back on, and then everything works. But then, a day later, it starts doing it again. You turn the router off and back on, and everything works. And then, a day later, it starts doing it again. So, what you do is, you, you turn your router off, back on, and then everything works. Uh, unfortunately, about a day later, yeah, that's me. That's my fucking life! I've... Constantly with fucking internet, man. Hate it. Hate it. Anyway, uh, there was a murderer. Everybody okay? Oh, quickly, before we take a big drink of your water. Ah, lovely. Okay. What are we looking at? The truth is becoming apparent. And I have something to say to Mrs. Marbury. Wait, what? Oh, Poirot, you're not even going to give me a minute to understand what you're talking about. So, wait, what was the info? She's Alexand Alexander Bonaparte, cursed landlady. She sublets a room to other guests when her usual residence are away. So, Alexander Bonaparte, cursed, washing his bloodstained shit. Is it because she sublets her rooms to other guests when the usual residence are away? Is that like. Double illegal or something. Seems like it would be. Wait, wait, hold on, let's examine her. Let's judge her based on her appearance and that she's peeling tatties or something. To in a good mood. She appears to be. So happily she peels the tatties. Look at this happy part of tat right, um Happy mouth. Fucking smell. Necklace. Oh Mrs. Relax pause in good mood. She's working very precisely in producing incredibly thin peels. Why peel potatoes at the reception? Because... It's to make Poirot think that she's... Oh, she's a bit eccentric. Oh, imagine doing that. And then as soon as he turns around, GAH! Tatty peeling in the neck. And his last wish is just for one, one toe in his mouth as he goes, but not from her. It looks like I found the real master of this house. I love the idea that not only does your cat live on a big pillow, it has a pill a picture of itself on the pillow, next to it on the pillow. Shit, it kinda is, innit? It kinda is the man! Where's Stina? Does Stina know about this? Does she know? Does she know about the man? Eh, uh, aye, big pillow. There is no need to worry about the household cat. It's like, imagine I'm when sure you... Mrs. Marbury lets it do what it pleases. Imagine you went to bed, right, and you lay down in your bed. And you rolled over on your side and you looked at your um, bedside table or that, and on it was a photo of you in bed. That's weird, isn't it? That's it's kind of pointless. Something to say to Mrs. Mar oh shit, I, I need to, I need to get your hell for subletting her rooms. Mrs. Marbury, if I am to believe the register, you rented the room 306 to a certain Mr. Fishman on the day of the Bexil murder? Room 306 is Cust's room. Can you explain yourself? Yes. I remember, just for one night as a favour, Mr. Cust was away, all my you are lying, taken, and poor you Mr. Tatty Fishman bitch. had nowhere to go. 
indicate that it is illegal. You rented the same room to two people. Very profitable, but quite illegal. Just start punching the tatties. Punch fuck at that pot of tatties, Poirot. Use your big Belgian fists. Is that it? Just like, <laughs> be a wee bit of a prick. Now I'll go and look at the room. I mash her tatties. Hey, I would love to roll over in bed and see a picture of Poirot lying in his bed. Hey, you. Aye, check yourself. Get some ego points, baby. What have we got? That thallium! What? Oh, it's Laudanum! Laudanum, Cameron's chemists. Laudanum, a medicine for coughs. It is what Dr. Clark prescribed for Mrs. Asher. And you have a fucked up throat. Would probably be from. War! War! Oh, what's happening? Hi, I'm doing it! Don't tell me to do it when I'm doing it. The... I think it might be a sedative quarrel. Hold on to him with this boat like a quarter of an inch. And read it. Ah, there we go. Johnson Fucking ridiculous shit. I know this medicine. <laughs> I'm just powerful <laughs> I'm fed up with this Something game's weird probably be useful to me. Weird idea of how to examine stuff and annoying big cough mumbles. Gonna lie in his bed? How hopeful. This place is a real mess. I fix that. Get a chair. And his bed's no properly made. The least we can say that Mr. Cust is not very concerned about order and balance. Go on the table. Yeah, right. I know a real mess, like he says it's a real mess. See if I just look left right now. There's a massive box of Akira manga that is currently being used as a table for more manga uh, because they won't fit in my big cupboard full of manga. Uh, and if you look slightly more left, there is a. What would you say? One, two, three, four. Maybe a four foot. Maybe three and a half foot pile of JoJo's. Um, aye, the idea that that room's a mess is laughable. Go ahead. What do we got? John Milligan, managing director. I can't even read. I just like the pictures. Frederick Street, Leicester, to AB Cust, Marbury's Guest House, nineteen thirty-five, May the twenty-first. Dear sir, further to our letters dated 5th and 10th of the month, we confirm we are you as door-to-door -door salesmen, according to the conditions stated in our previous letters. We will send you the articles by mail, and also a Redfield typewriter you will be using for every business letter. Regarding okay. the schedule of your rounds, please do as following. I don't. 21. If he's a stocking salesman or that, they don't right just send you a fucking typewriter to use. At Station Hotel. Start your turn in the north part of the town. This letter establishes that Cust went to Andover, but the ink has hidden the destinations of his other trips. <sighs> I know from Mrs. Marbury that he went like, to Kirsten. I just have to Is that not a bit like it's just like you know you've been hired to work the mail room at this company? We'll be sending you a big fucking car. To use, you know, doesn't he? To show that he went to Bexhill, it makes and sense, really. Prove that he was present at all the crime scenes. Special ink. Did Cust drop it when he opened the window, or was it Mrs. Marbury while she was cleaning? Cust is parsimonious. He keeps his pencils and sharpens them until there is nothing left. It is clear that he did not grow up in luxury. Deduction. It's an he's, ABC. He's really diddly dee. 
That'll be what killed your um your Carmichael Clark. A long bladed knife, a murderer's weapon. Well, that'll be what killed that everybody, but you know. Probably be useful to me. Well, I know everybody actually. Sure, he strangled um Betty with her own belt. Like, use the tight rater for her. Baro, where's your wee hang? There it is. I have to get the ribbon. How am I going to do it? Fuck. We go. Uh, no, Donald Dick was not the next to die. The next to die was... Oh, I can't even check his name right now. <gasps> Redfield. Hope this isn't a Chrissy Zink. Eh? Ha 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 ha! The patter. The patter. Um, right. Ribbon is jammed. I have to start, start by freeing, by freeing it. it. Right, can you take this the off? Ribbon is jammed. Just say the same thing. The ribbon is jammed. Motherfucker. Uh, what? So this side, and move. The left hand heel has been removed. Also, oh, remove both of them. The right hand heel has been removed. Yes, I know. The ribbon, bitch. And here is the ribbon. Let us see if it was indeed used to write the letters sent by ABC. Oh, good. Match the letters, eh? I only need the ink ribbon for my inquiry. I will let Jack clean the keyboard if he wishes. There's the eye. All the letters announcing the murders were <laughs> move written. It. Move it the tiniest wee bit. Just move it. Oh, no, I know they've all been written by this one. Silly shit. And uh, over here. Oh fuck, it's got a lot of ABCs. Might be a murderer. Maybe. Still don't know, maybe it's hot. ABC guys. Enough to sign about a dozen murders. It's closed. He stands like that. Cause. It's closed. <laughs> then open it, fuck's sake, man. Like, what do you need me to? You need the knife? Are you serious? This knife is very useful. <laughs> Christ. Who knows? Maybe it never cut anything other than string. Stockings. Stockings. Mm. Yeah, what's in the wardrobe? Hey, Stina. Trousers, white shirts. Everything has been washed very well. She washed it, didn't she? The Bexhill Daily Paper, dated from the day of the Bexhill murder. Most probably the bathing dress repaired by Mrs. Bathing dress. Hands. Those shorts, man. I'm trying to imagine this fucker. Imagine coming in and Poirot's just squeezing into these shorts. One moment, one of me. I'm trying to adjust my balls to fit. All the main articles referring to the ABC case are here, from the Churston murder onwards. Nothing before that date. Right, I think it may be him. I think it might be him because we know it's him. <laughs> you know, there's no other. ABC oh, wait. guys. I have looked at that. Thank. Looked at everything. No. What are you? War of 1914-1918. Aye, that's his. The king's order, that's his um, participation certificate. Cast, you know, they give you for being in the war. On the just for being in the war, there's just a certificate for taking part. As mentioned you know, when you come fifth at uh, school sports service. day, you get a participation badge, certificate. Wounded on the some front, victim of a gas attack, corporal cast greatly deserves his distinction. Use the knife to mug someone for their shoe. <laughs> just go downstairs and demand. Miss Maybury's shoes, whatever her fucking name is. I think that's us done in here. Let's get these brain cells working. Sorry about your horrible wounds. Here's a certificate. That's, have you... Have you been in the war, Bart Bison? Because that sounds right. That sounds like what it would say. Go on in the house. Eh, uh, bum bum bum. Where was Cust at the time of the Bexhill murder? Oh, he had on. 
Oh, I don't win. Wait. I think we need to go back down and have a wee chat with Hill. Let's check there's nothing I've missed here. Don't know of nothing to nothing with the coat, no, nothing with East Well Trousers. Put East Trousers on. It is not the right time. Oh shit. Did not realise it was not the right Oh wait! Oh no, I did didn't I? Aye, ah, the drawer was already open. Can I get to the other set of drawers? No. So it's probably time to... Wait, what's that? Can you see that? See, just there where I've got the circle. Right there. What the fuck is that? Like sticking out the table leg. Is that visible when we're like that? Isn't it? What is that? It looks like a fucking knife jammed in the table leg. Oh! What's that? What's that? Blood. <gasps> blood. This dark stain. It could be blood. Maybe barbecue sauce. Knows how long it has been there. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. <sighs> now that we have the barbecue sauce, solve this shit. Okay, where was cursed at the time of the Bexhill murder? Right, well... 25th of July... Uh, oh no, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, here I thought it turned on, on. Um, Bexa local paper dating from the day Betty's mother was found in Cuss room. There we go. Was in Bexa on the day of the murder? The register shows that Cuss did not sleep at the guest house on the day of the murder. Where was he? Bexil. The Bexil paper reveals it. Cust bought this newspaper in Bexil on July the 25th. Correct. No use continuing the inspection of this room. I've seen all there is to see. Right. Let's fucking go. Kill this fucker. I mean, question us. Goodbye, Mrs. Marbury. Thank you for your help. Bye. Bye! <laughs> That's what you say, Chief didn't Inspector. you? I was about to Bye! Leave. Here's David Good Schneider. Evening, Chief Inspector. Welcome. Please excuse me, I must go to the kitchen. I'll leave the cube Mr. Cust on the counter. Can I leave the tatties and all? I've spent ages with the Doncaster police. And you? That I fucking voice, man. On three occasions, Cust was at the scene on the day of the crime. Hey, Stina, here. This is what you missed. There is no need to worry about the household cat. What? There's a wee I'm pal. Sure that Mrs. Marbury lets it do what it pleases. I think we can all agree he's no... the man, obviously. Uh, what, what are we doing now? I was not paying attention. Talk to Jack. We were just talking to him. Why did Annie tell us a conversation that was already happening? Oh, this game! I'll closely to what you have to say, Poro. For me, there's no doubt, Cust is guilty. Do you have any element that might prove the contrary? That is what we're going to look for. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Ah, it's an artist's interpretation of the man. Just like how those paintings are like Henry VIII, but it's like, ah, he's, not, he's, a, bit, he's a bit fat, but he's no that bad, and you realise, no, that they've really made him look good. That's him looking good. Is it possible for Cust to have killed the three victims? I? Is there a button that just says I? Cust was in Tuxton on the day of Sir Clark's murder, yes. Uh, Cust was in Bexhill on the day of Bernard's murder. Cust was in Andover on the day of it, yes. Cust was in all the... He was in all the tunes. Are there any common points between Cust and the killer, well, I. All the letters sent to Poirot come for his typewriter. Uh, he has a knife like the one used to stab him. No, wait, the knife isn't he. That's just. Should he say it, it's definitely only like cut string and shit. Um. <laughs> I've 
sorry, I just turned in the first thing I read is fat pink arse. <laughs> um, common points. A blood on him. A ZBC guides at his house. And is it the knife? Well, it is. Alright. Could have committed these crimes. His cuss behaviour suspicious. Aye. Keeps newspapers that talk about the murders. Um, blood on him and he lied about his destination. Guilty! The evidence against Cust is overwhelming. His presence at the scenes, the knife, the blood-stained shirt, the ABCs in a box. C'est vrai. However, the blood Mrs. Marbury saw on Cust's shirt may have been his own. According to his medical records, he suffers from hemoptysis. The murderer cuts a Carmichael's throat from behind, and the blood spurted outwards. You would expect the murderer's shirt to be stained on the sleeves, not on the buttonholes. Yet we oh. see the opposite. Oh. You would expect the murderer to keep the newspaper articles about his crimes. But Cust's collection starts in Cheston, as if it discovered the case rather late. Hmm, I agree it's troubling, but it doesn't change my mind. There's small details that we should be able to clear up by question. Or is it hot? Is it her? And she's been Don't using his room to write, the first train. to write the stuff. Are they questioning him already? He says he can't remember a thing. It's plausible. Doctors say he suffers from absences and amnesia. Mrs. Marbury has confirmed this. He may have done the murders in an altered state. A familiar situation. A fugue state. It's not enough to clear his name. Dr. Thompson insisted that even if you don't know what you're doing, you never commit a murder without wanting to. Très intéressant. I shall remember that. Right. I'll go and examine the suspect's room. Chief Inspector, <laughs> I too... Do you know, honey? Whatever the fuck that bread is. No bread. Liberty of removing a few clues to examinatory. All right. We'll discuss them tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm going to see if you've missed something. Okay. Imagine it, what if it's the woman? Because you know how it's like, um. See how, how happy she was to see Poirot in that? I wonder, could it be her? And she's like, oh god, he's like this close to get. You know that where it's like the killer's excited to be caught? That kind of thing. She just seemed incredibly happy and cheery and. Hmm. Hmm. I'm enjoying how you're all talking about some fucking sandwiches and I'm trying to solve this murder. What would be Poirot's favourite sandwich? To Scotland Yard, please. There we go, thank you, Stina. I was hoping someday. A foot long. Oh, candelabra moustache. Just, sorry, mate, you just sat there, I was just having a look about. I was just. You know, light stuff. I am making him sweat, he's. Let's stare at him. This War man wound, is not fuck. Crap here. Shave that heed, man. Don't try and hold on to it. Oh, bad eyes. Shit eyes. Crap hands. Uh, cunted collar. <laughs> he is worried and very tired. And other police have been hard on him. Punching his ass. Punching fuck you. Everyone. Take the bag. Ah, oh, my drink. Right. Let's fucking solve this. Maybe. Talk to him. Let's talk to him. What do you want from me? Uh, present yourself. Good day, Mr. Cust. I am Hercule Poirot. 
Ah, you're the detective. Welcome to the house. Yes, I am the person you have been sending the letters to. I didn't write these letters. I've already said so. Thing is, I'm genuinely beginning to think it was the woman. Hmm. I can't remember her name, you know, Mrs. Maybury, Mar Marbury, Mulberry Bush. Because I feel as if we're, we're, um, we're putting, it just seems very, very, like, you think how early in the game it was shown as him and casting doubt and suspicion on him. I feel, I feel like it's just far too, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm thinking it's the woman because I, I bloody hate women. Um, I just, she was so, so cheery and so helpful and you know she's been in and out of his room. So it's like, if he's, a, like you think every time we saw him in his room, she was like chatting at the door just as he was going. She knew when he was leaving. So she could have been using his typewriter, no bother. She could have been taking fucking ABCs out the box. Ah, I don't know, man. Let's let's see. Um, get him to admit that he's forgotten. We'll, we'll push this angle there. It's him. See Maybe what happens. You forgot that you wrote these letters. Yes, it's true. Sometimes I forget. Maybe I did type them. Um, ask if he is capable of killing. Are you capable of murder, Mr. Cust? All these questions are giving me a headache. <sighs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you love the war, monsieur. But now get him to talk with you. You suffered during the war. It's true. I was wounded. I suffered. But the army was the only place I didn't feel inferior. No questions, just orders to follow. Oh! But ever since you were wounded, you have absences, bouts of amnesia. Imagine she was and making headaches. them do the killings. <sighs> <sighs> Professor Clark treated you. Yes, a few years ago, he really helped me with my burned throat. Um. Mm. I'll accuse him of Dr. Clark. Let's see what happens. And to thank him, you murdered him? Stop talking about these murders. <laughs> Got a burn throat. <coughs> oh, you travel through time there, son. What was that wee move? <coughs> well, he's coughing. That means he's guilty. Give us the rope. End it. Let's give him some uh, the ones that. Yeah, no. Oh, could be poison him. The ones what? That's the one you want. No, wait. What's that one? Sedative. I know this medicine. But but why did he acquire some? What well, they put him to sleep? Because of the war nightmares. So we'll use this. Smash him out of the heat of it. Take this. It will help you. Thank you. Give him some galpol. Oh, imagine she had put poison in the cough medicine. I'd be mad. Oh, good God, my shirt is covered in blood again. Just don't, don't put your head down to your shirt when you're I coughing. I know where the blood stains Mrs. Marbury so came from. Are you well enough to speak? Yes, I feel much better. Hmm. I'll accuse him of Dr. Clark's mother again. Him. Two hours. Stop talking about these murders. <laughs> Please don't stop coughing again. 
Oh! Ask him if he acknowledges going to three towns. Say that witnesses saw him in the three towns. Oh, does he acknowledge? No, wait. Hmm. Witnesses. You were seen at all the crime scenes. Yes, I was. I travel a lot, but not for pleasure. I am terribly unwell in trains. Oh, I forgot. But I had to respect my engagements. My employer gave me very precise written instructions about the towns I had to visit. <coughs> <laughs> Let's see. Wait. The company you claim to work for, Silky Legs, has never heard of you. And as for these letters they sent you, they were written on your own typewriter. The company sent me the typewriter when I started working for them. Yes, but the letters were received afterwards. Is somebody just trying to pin it all on him? Like, make him think he works for a company? Here. Think about it, right? Mind I said it's it's so strange for a company to be like, oh cheers, you've got the job, um we'll send you a fucking typewriter on the border. Like, that's so suspicious. I guess fucker's been set up. Hmm, right. I appear that you type them before sending them to yourself. Proves that you wrote them. Hmm, let's see. So it would appear that you typed them before sending them to yourself. I... I don't remember. Good God! I don't know what's happening to me! My head hurts terribly! Have another wee cough, mate. I'll make you feel better. Alright, said it. Gothic confessional! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's say him... Just... Give a man a sedative to go with his cough medicine. It will help you. Take this, it will help you. Dink! Drops a knife on the table. Starts stabbing it into his own mouth. Oh, oh wait, this isn't sedative or cough medicine. Oh, I think I'll be fine. Let us see, Cust. Look at me. You know very well that you committed these murders. Yes, I know. What? No, I don't do that. I'm not wrong in saying that you do not know why you committed them. Wait, hold on. What's that? There's something on my telly. Hold on. Here you. What are you doing? Move. Fucking <laughs> okay, ant on my telly. That's a bad sign. An ant. That's a really bad sign. Like, cause you know, where there's one ant, there's a hundred million ants. This is a bit cold for ant, isn't it? For ants. Hmm. I didn't kill it, I just blew it off the telly. <laughs> saying that like I know for a fact it survived the fall. You know, like when you when somebody knocks somebody out in a film with a bottle of the heat, like you don't know if they'll just knock to it. Anyway, um I really, really hope there isn't ants uh, crawling on me when I sleep. What was happening? A murder. No. I don't. What do I have game now? Oh, wait. Wait. God, I'm winning all these awards, look. Red Cross, Kaiser Mustache. Let's have a look at his... His thing, right? He lives at Marbury Guest House where he rents a room on a yearly basis. He's the daughter of a stocking seller. He was in each town with the mud. There was a murderer. There was a murder. He does not deny having committed these crimes, but he has no memory of doing so. He was sincere. So let's go and talk to Jack. Let's see if he's maybe found anything Poirot missed. And what conclusions have you drawn? Plenty. It might help us to understand him a little better. 
Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Okay, here we go. What if they were alien ants? <gasps> From a farm? Uh, what do we know about Cuss Health, right? He suffers from that thing. Uh, he has problems with his throat. Suffers from absences. Cuss is mentally physically weak, not really appropriate of a killer. Are there any clues that do not support Cuss' guilt and the trust and murder? Don't support his guilt, that's. But Cuss Collection starts in their eyes if he heard about it late. Um, do not repeat the. No, 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 no. I read that as button, uh, buttholes again, I can't. Oh no, wait, where, there. Yeah, but, no, wait. Hold on. What was that one again? Do not support, right. Don't support his guilt. Uh, I I hate I hate that it makes me see that because I I don't say butthole I say asshole. I'm not I don't I don't I am not like I'm no an American teenager you know I say asshole. Uh, are there any clues that do not support trust guilt? And the Charleston murder. Um, <laughs> Gerard Butler has a bug hole. Are there any clues that do not support his guilt? Oh, well that one in it, because if he had, if he had done it, the blood would have spotted over his arm. And that one, no. Hmm. He had no reason to kill them. He did not write the letters, no. I feel like I'm missing something here, hold on. Oh wait, is it that one and that one? Yes, there we go. I'll just shut to be staying with this the uh, please, no the buttonholes. Accuse him of having a good time. Uh are there any clues that do not support Cuss skill? Is that no what I just did? Is that no what I just did? Have we got any new ones here? Did not appear to recognise Poirot. Is it even oh no 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 no. Hey, that one. There are several details which show that Cust is not guilty. Can we say without a shadow of a doubt that Cust is guilty? No reason to kill them. It's easy to not write them. Not guilty. Ah fucking yeah, I knew there was some shit going on. Any clearer than before. This is worse. There is one point, Twilight. C'est curieux. Cust admits that he killed, but he does not know why. What did Dr. Thompson say? Even if Cust killed while in an altered state, it still must have been his deepest desire. He must have had a motive. Oh. Let's keep it simple. Never mind his motive. He confessed. Con yes, he and... confessed to anything and everything. He denied the murders and then he confessed to them. He confirmed that he never typed the letters, then with great ease, I managed to get him to say quite the opposite. Come on, he behaved like a guilty man. He lied to his landlady. Oh, that's guilty. He goes deep down, he believes himself guilty. 
From the papers, he noticed that he had always been at the scene of the crimes. He must think that he killed and then simply forgot what he had done. How can you be so sure? Let us look at his psychological profile. You will understand my point of view. Oh, shit. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Right. Drink the brain juice. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. Is cussed clever? What does that say? Get the mother carried out to perfection. Hold on him. It wasn't for pleasure, he was always on well in trains, but I'd say he stopped her in England. I have to respect my engagement. That's the plus he keeps his pencil and sharpens them to his nine left, clear and rig. Didn't he grow up in luxury? And in that kind of time you mm. Oh Jesus, that's a lot of text on it. Uh, da, da. Da, da. Da, da. Mediocre. This cuss sure of himself. Uh, isn't Jay? It's cuss the seducer. You know what I'm saying, guys? That's a felt hat. Not a sort of man you'd notice. Completely harmless. Without any charm. And a shit haircut. It's cussed like trains. He fucking hates trains. He's a cuck. <laughs> it's cussed impulsive. Parsimonious. Keeps paying shanters. No, no, wait. No. That one. Cold. The impulsive, parsimonious, miserly. You see, Cus' character is quite the opposite of the murderers. But if he's a man, imagine being bullied by Poirot. Character? You know very well that how a murderer does not behave like a psychopath. Apart from the signature, there is no ritual repetition in the choice of victims. Very well, very well. You're right as always. So, miserly's like him. Um, if you if you use it like that to say somebody's a bit miserable, it's like they're kinda they're kinda tight with like money and possessions and that kinda thing. We have no confession, no culprit, no suspects, nothing. And all that after two months of inquiry? What should I do? Have faith. Just give me twenty four hours. Aye, Scrooge. Like a kinda Scrooge. Objective, go home. Fucking go home, you fat Belgian bitch. Right, to get me home. Heaven, please. He's a duck. Look at you having a great time. Look at you having a good time in the chat yourself. Yeah, look at the man. Cust's arrest is a great success for you, Poirot. It's what? It's clear now. No! One or two details. Details? Ah, mon ami. What? The devil is in the detail, as we say. Excuse me? Patience, Hastings. Everything will be clear once... Ah, here we go. Slip a revolver into your pocket. Slip a revolver into your pocket before they do. A revolver? But Poirot, what are you afraid of? Trust me. It is important you carry a weapon for this meeting. I will lend you mine. Oh, somebody's getting what shot. About telling me what you have in mind. Shoot who I say Shoot. to, Hastings? You wouldn't be able to play your role. Wait one moment, I will bring you my weapon. Ah, this is very Poirot. This is very Poirot, you know, where it's like, um, he's walking around the, the people all sitting in their chairs, and he's like, I bet it was you, mademoiselle, who said such and such, and, um, and then he does that thing where he, he turns and goes, and that is how you wrote the letters. She goes, but how did you find out? Ah, you just told me, mademoiselle. 
Oh, I hope I hope that actually doesn't happen, and I look a right prick. Bring the revolver, motherfucker! Do you want me to wipe your ass and all? Bring the revolver to Hastings. Chew up Hastings' food for him and spit it into his mouth like a baby bird. The white ammunition are blank cartridge. <laughs> Poirot shooting six rounds into the clock puzzle. <laughs> the others are real bullets. Oh shit! Do I choose what he loads it with? <gasps> bum, bum, bum. They I definitely take the, the gun. Type of bullets to load. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! This is serious, right? Everyone take a vote. Are we going with real bullets or blanks? No, because you, you fuckers will go real bullets. These are bad folk. A mix. <laughs> half and half. <laughs> half and half, and then you just go... <sighs> spin it. See what happens. Plastic gun. <laughs> real bullets. <laughs> I'm imagining some plastic gun exploding in Hastings' hand, and he's like... Ah... It was you who were the killer all along, Hastings. I had to disarm you. No, I think it's that I either choose one or the other. Green. <laughs> green, okay, we got green. The classic green, yes. The revolver is loaded with blanks. I still have time to choose real bullets. I don't think we'll need... What's that? Can I put the gun back? No, just, just a thing there they forgot to forgot to remove. Um Are we going with blanks still aye? Well we're we'll staying with blanks then aye. That's our final answer. So um aye, a plastic gun exploding in his hand. You know you can disarm someone with words. You can disarm someone with a shock. It doesn't literally mean you disarm them with like take an arm. I think we're right, we're staying green. This is a green stream. Put this to your heat hastings. That's a bit of laugh. about telling me what you have in mind. I oh, know yeah, I need to key him the gun, don't I? Use it on Hastings. Oof! Right in his mouth. Voila! I don't trust you with my weapon. It has hardly been used. It is almost new. I what was it green? Was green a rich or an Owen stream? Chief Inspector, is that you? Yes. Sorry, but we haven't found anything. Have you checked the typewriter? And the packaging, the letter, and the ribbon reel. We've only found prints left by Cust and his landlady. Mm. Well, never mind, I shall make do. So, are you still going to hold your meeting? Of course, Chief Inspector. I can hear my guest coming up the stairs. If Poirot shoots himself in the brain. Since Cust yeah, it was handy for the Motty to sit in the same seats as last time, wasn't it? Let's hear this cracking Scottish accent. Sir, I thought it was all done and dusted. Miss Gray formally identified him, as well as Miss Barnard. Look yes. how... Do you notice that, um... Donald Dick, uh, he's all clean-shaven now. And, uh... He looks like he's happy and he's getting his fucking hole. Just saying. Cooking sea salt are of the same brand as the ones found at my aunt's. This is all true. However, a case is not closed if some questions remain open. And one question is, why did the murderer send me his letters? Why did he challenge me, Hercule Poirot? Perhaps he wanted to play with you, to taunt you. You fucking Xenophobia? robot, man. Maybe he didn't like you because you're foreign. <laughs> um, you may be wrong, but... Maybe by provoking you, he was looking for glory? All these That's why we use it, Stina, because it's it's just a, a minging term. 
like for somebody to go, oh, I got my hole last night. Oh, I want my hole. It's just, it's beautiful. It's amazing. Theories should be studied. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Oh, look, they're holding hands. They're holding hands. <gasps> Why did the murderer make a mistake in the address? Mm. Mm. Let's take a big drink of brain water, brain juice, brain liquid. I whole confirmed. Right. Why did the mother make a mistake in the address? The letters late arrival saved the mother. Erin address caused the letter to be delivered late. Wait, what? Oh, aye, that one. And that one. And. Nope, no, 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 no. For glory. No, 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 no. Why did he make a mistake in the address? Or is the address not very well known? No? Hmm. Oh, it can't be both of them, can it? Got to be one or the other. Why did they make a mistake in the address? The letters later I will save the murderer. They're in the address because the letter to be delivered late. Go to that one. Feel like that's going to be part of it. Like the address isn't it very well known. It's a xenophobe. They own them. The bit of Oh, it's our favourite game. Everyone's favourite game. <laughs> I'm not doing that for that. Um, oh, no. Everyone, please use your brain powers here. We need, bra we need brain powers to work. Why did the mother make a mistake in the address? I feel like it's because they didn't even properly, they know roughly where he lived. But know exactly where. That was delivered late. I feel like they two have got to be part of it though, because the, the thing saved. <laughs> Hastings Poirot's Thrall. <laughs> He's his, um, he's actually Poirot's Gollum. Uh, there's a, that's why Hastings' lips look like that. They hold the wee piece of paper in there. What well, are a challenge Poirot because he isn't it? Tell you what we're going to do, right? We're going to take away you. Take away you. We're going to use an old blue, see what the game puts in. Why? I didn't expect you to put two in there. Okay. Mother always warned Poirot about his mothers. Mother challenged Poirot because he has an inferiority complex. That one? No. That one? No. <laughs> right. So it's, it's the, the last one. Let's see. It's addressed as anyway, no? No. Xenophobia. Glory. What's happening here? 
Like, the game put that other one in, the other two in. So why... Why is none of the other ones working? I think the game fucked up here. Try that. Oh, what's that? Wait, what's the... Holy shit, you need to, yeah, you need to let the use a clue button reload. That's mad. Um. <laughs> Why did the murderer make a mistake in the address? Cause he's fucking stupid. I don't know. I don't know. You recharged it, bitch. Twenty-two percent. Right, challenged. Uh, aye, challenged because he's an inferiority complex. But that one. See, I thought it was the glory one at first. I feel like glory works. I've already tried those three, haven't we? I... Mm. Help me, the man. Your only hope. Please help me, the man. I don't want to be like fucking googling it, you know, I want to at least try and make sense because it's it's kind of shite if you kind of go, oh right, aye, that's why. You know, show you're working and all that, pish. Shoot them all with the gun. <laughs> Sadly we loaded blanks, so we would have to go like, we'd have to press the gun right against the temples to kill them with the blanks. Right. Hold on. See, that doesn't really go though, does it? Because why is him challenging him for glory? Why does that mean he made a mistake? Like, in what way is that related to him making a mistake? Hmm. Tried all the address based ones, I'm pretty sure I did. Let's see. Wrong address. Where was address? Address. Aye. No, that one. Nah. 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 Let's go him. What if I just come out? What happens? <laughs> Do they all just stare at me? <laughs> What's she doing? Don't know. Let's look at them. Let's stare at them. Oh, the young man is better. He appears calmer and has got some color back in his cheeks. Megan took Donald's hand. She does not abandon him when things get difficult. If this young man was sentenced, I bet you would help him to escape. Shoot both of them. I just might have a look at them, you know. See what they're doing. 
Hastings definitely did not understand my plan. It's just as well. But now Hastings, if you will, press the revolver to your head. He's looking at Thor a lot. I bet he offered her the flowers she's wearing in a buttonhole. 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 The buttonhole on a blues. Blues. There are flowers that grow in the planters at Comside. She is more relaxed now that the fan has been turned on. She must find it hard to stand the heat. I would be. Now, look at yourself, Poirot. Look in a fucking mirror, man. Is that everything? Ah, I wish I had put away a bullet. Hey. Um, free sales and all that shit. Oh, 96. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Aye, I think what actually happened was, see when I pressed X to use a clue, I think I pressed it quickly and accidentally selected one as well as the one they gave me. That's what fucked me up. Let's see. Right. Carefully. One! It seems to have gave me those two. What's that got to do with it? Oh wait, it let him get away. No. Wait, is that the right one? No, that's this one. Bastard. <laughs> so I feel like it put that one in and the game's so fucking dodgy that it put that one in itself. When I pressed X, does that make that feels right? Then it that feels correct. So I think we'll get rid of that one. Right, so the murderer always warned Poirot about his murders. Wait, is it there? Motherfuck! Motherfuck! Ah! Why did the killer send his letters to Hercule Poirot? Because he wanted the glory. Oh! No? No xenophobia. No. Oh. Inferiority comp. No, what the fuck? Why did the killer send his letters to Hercule Poirot? He wrote to Poirot because his address is not very well known. What? What? Is everything clear now? What? Hmm. You might like to explain your reasoning again. No. Of course. First of all, remember that the murderer made it a rule to always post his letter before the murder. He never digressed on that rule. However, in Cheston, he encountered a problem. The village has only 500 inhabitants. With advance warning, it would be easy to arrest him. Therefore, the murderer delayed his letters deliberately with the wrong address. The plan wouldn't have worked if he'd sent it to Scotland Yard or the papers because everybody knows their addresses. The mistake would have been corrected and the letter would have been on time. That is why the murderer chose me as the recipient. Because for his plan to succeed, it was necessary for at least one of the letters to have a wrong address and get lost. It was very cunning. Absolutely. It is a very subtle plan. It matches the profile we have drawn up of him perfectly. That of an intelligent, daring and calculating murderer. But that's not how you describe Cust. You are quite right, mademoiselle. Like you, I find it hard to believe that this dull character is the clever murderer we are looking for. Do madmen... I mean, if he's mad... He might have two very different sides. No doubt. But the murderer is not mad. All the specialists agree that he does not have the profile of a psychopath. But if Cust is not guilty, how do you explain his presence at the scene of the crimes? Mr. Cust is question. in the medical records of your brother's patients. Documents which Cust most certainly did not have access to. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. What do we know about cussed? Bald. Bad throw it. 
easily influenced brain man brain man wait you know about trust but it's like we know we know loads we know lo like it says what do we know about cust we know he's easily influenced we know he tries to overcome his travel sickness with it. We know that he buys newspaper. Like, we know lots of shit. Wait, wait. <laughs> now nah, I've only got. Right, well, we know this. That one. Because that's him that said it. We know. Who's winning during the war? Uh, no. What? Oh wait, would these just be observations because it's what we know? No. Well, that's not something you know about him, that. I know he was windy during the war. Trying to do with cuss, does it? Oh, uh -huh. God, this is exciting, isn't it? Big fucking intrigue and murder mystery, staying at wee, at wee photos. Well, I go, eh, uh, oh, ah, eh, is that Charles J? Fucking, this is great. Hmm. Is it just me or is this really fucking obtuse? Like, <laughs> fuck. These are all her. Things. That's the stuff she said about him. I think this is the ending. I fucking hope this is the ending. Here's what we're gonna do, right? <laughs> okay, but so which one? Why does it keep putting two in even though even though one of them isn't right? Right, so that's one of them. We know that he was wounded during the war. But the other thing is that Motherfuck. Motherfuck. How to explain cuss presence? This should be a bit fucking easy. He was a door-to-door -door salesman. Uh, 
chain? No, wait, wait, wait. Can you swim? Newspapers. A bit of a boo. About to put one in a minute. Fucking isn't he that it's not it's not that one or that one. Jesus right. How to explain cuss presence at the crime scenes. Presence is He says he went because he wanted to swim. And Wanted to see the crime scenes. Is that not one of them? And he's a train. What the fuck, man? Well, oh. right. Sorry, that's about the towns and other crime scenes. I thought we tried to burn them in order to hide his trail. Right, so he wanted to see the crime scenes. And he tries to thing move it. Uh, <laughs> I think whoever made this game get hit in the heat on the water. It fucking feels like it, doesn't it? This is. <laughs> Cost made the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh bless him, bless that abcust. How to explain Cust's presence at the crime scenes. How, how the fuck is that no how the fuck is that no one? Fucking hell I'm I'm angry now, I'm actually fucking angry <laughs> Take a big drink <sighs> I need this to end need this fucking thing to end. It's making me hate Poirot. How to explain Cuss's presence at the crime scenes. What, because them Oh, of course, it was manipulated when he Clark going to them. Records, provided a very useful list of potential victims. So Fuck me, man. man. <laughs> Do they force him on the trains? Explaining the fact that all the victims yeah, are nah. the of the Just poking them on me a stick. It is this fact that clears cast once and for all because he never had access to these records. So how did he happen to be at the scene of the crimes? Either the murderer sent him there or Cus was following him closely. Cus's highly suggestible nature leads us to the second hypothesis. The murderer was manipulating him. He systematically sent Cus to the towns where he was going to strike, so that the suspicion would land on the poor man's shoulder. That's evil. What sort of killer could have such a plan? Donald Deck. He came from three completely different murders. Indeed, it seems unlikely that the same murderer committed all the crimes. What should we take from that? Hey. Say that just one murderer is of interest. One murder. Say that the murderer kills for pleasure. Say that the killer has developed a taste for murder. Say that there are three murderers. What? What's happening here? What's just happened? 
What, A, B, and C? Well, I feel like I could get this very, very wrong. That's a nice shot though, isn't it? Like between Donald and Megan. Belgian bitch. Mmm. Three, those three. It's not one murderer, but three accomplices who all use the same scenario. Do you mean that three murderers with quite different aims joined forces to create a smoke screen? Here's another question. Is it still necessary to find a motive for each crime and the one in Andover? Megan, you're talking like a, a mad murderer. Why was poor Mrs. Asher killed? Hmm, indeed. It would be best to forget this theory. <laughs> I think I might have been wrong. Say that just one murder is of interest. See, I think it might be that. They only wanted to kill one person, but they had to kill two others in a way to do a serial thing and draw attention from them. Just one murder was of benefit to the murderer. The yes. Other were just diversions. On reflection, there is only one conclusion. The murderer killed once out of interest and twice to divert our attention. This reasoning points at two potential culprits. Holy shit. Sorry, that is me just realising that his name is AB Cust. I hadn't even clicked that ABC. Imagine that's the only reason he was picked. And it's like, oh, it was just lucky that he was also mental from the war. Franklin Clark. Donald Fraser? Yes, mademoiselle. That's good thinking. Mr. Fraser may have killed Betty out of jealousy. Mr. Clark may have killed his brother in order to inherit his large fortune. Both have a motive. But Donald did not have access to Dr. Clark's records. Please allow me to disagree with you, mademoiselle. <laughs> that, that wee point there. Indicate that Donald was treated by Dr. Clark. Indicate that Donald was resting at Churston. Indicate that Donald's firm worked for Clark. Oh shit, I don't remember them. I don't remember Donald's name coming up in the records. Eh, uh, Dr. Clark's records. Eh. Uh, hmm. Does that mean he was resting at Justin? Donald's firm. Oh, his firm! Is he not a lawyer? Let's he see. He works for Court and Brunskill, one of whose clients was Sir Carmichael. Mm. It doesn't prove that I went to Combside. You could have done it, and you may have used the opportunity to take a look at Sir Carmichael's records. You think I'm guilty? You? Or Mr. Franklin Clark? That's ridiculous! Both of you have a motive. The question is, which of you has the profile that most resembles the murderer? Oh shit. Let's now try and get our brain cells to work. Oh god. <laughs> is Donald clever? <laughs> Megan really liked Donald. He bet a good dozen news. I was a tenement genius, a true gentleman. The death of that's what I don't know what to do, and I keep having a horrible dream. The bright man with a promising career ahead of him. Lover. Donald's sure of himself. Good gentleman. Oh, wait, hold on. Doubts. He had doubts. Is Donald a seducer? Mm, no, he was a true gentleman. What? That? No. Um, women like him. How does that make him a seducer? Jesus Christ, man. Does Donald like trains? Oh, loves them. Can I get enough of the trains? Donald impulsive. Uh, like that. 
Does Donald smell nice? Is he generous? Yes, because he was attentive and deedly dee. Ladies and gentlemen, Donald may share many character traits with the murderer, but he does not have his cold indifference. He has a temper. It is. You know what? It is cool. A big train set in somebody's basement. That is pretty cool, man. I would love to see it. Trains are neat. You know, trains are a man's passion. Hard to imagine him planning anything. Also, jealousy is his motive, and crimes of passion are rarely planned. Right, I suppose it's my turn to be subjected to the same scrutiny. Absolutely, Mr. Clark. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Here I fucking go. Is Franklin clever? Yes. School report Franklin was a good student but lacked discipline. Charms. He's a lovely boy, very plucky and sure of himself. So Eve. See you later. Too thick a cunt to plan anything. <laughs> it's not that one, is it? Huh. Okay. He sure himself. Yes. Frankman a seducer. Uh, ah, yeah. Uh, I don't think the people that wrote this game knows what seducing means. Like, like you meet somebody and it's like, oh, are you, are you used to going out? I, I, we, we've been together for a while, right? Who seduced who? No, we just kind of met. And we liked each other and we just got on. And it's like this works, then it. This is good. Aye, but who? You know, who seduced who? Uh, does he like trains? Fucking loves the railway children! Did I say... You know, what word I said there, it was no children. The impulsive. He's impulsive as fuck! Eh... Uh, where is it? Where? Cool. The generous. Very generous. He bought a train ticket! For a woman who wasn't getting his hole off of. There is a disturbing similarity between Mr. Clark's profile and that of the killer. In actual fact, it is exactly the same. Mr. Poirot, your psychological studies are interesting, but your conclusions do not add up. Why would I have wished my brother's death? The inheritance is lawfully mine. I just have to wait. No, you had to act quickly. To the Thora Grey, but that makes it sound as if it's like, oh, she just, she was doing my nut and she was annoying me, so I just killed my brother. <laughs> like, she bothered him. Fuck me. Eh. Uh, I, I think she maybe bothered him. Because of Miss Grey. <gasps> Mademoiselle, also, you haven't been telling the truth. There is no doubt in my mind that you would have found a way Aye, to she wanted Michael. The big dosh! For you, Mr. Clark, it was a disaster. If Miss Grey had children by your brother, you would not have inherited a thing. You realized the danger after reading several letters from Comside, especially one in which your brother opened his heart to you. So you hurried home from China, and you took action. for China. No. In truth, Kirst Quick was no more a puppet, manipulated by the real Tell your brother, you, the Mr. woman Clark. that wanted to marry him. Such an imagination, Mr. Poirot. In fact, nobody manipulated Cust. The famous instructions he received by post. He wrote them on the typewriter. We know that for sure. Oh, no. You know perfectly well. That is not true. Bus from China landed at Heathrow. <laughs> the light has now been shared on the ABC murders. <laughs> Your theories are ingenious, but you haven't any proof. One point to him. For the moment, I have no material proof. Either I admit to it, 
or I bluff. Pull out the gun, Hastings. Oh, here we go. So, invent an item of proof found in Alice Ashley's tobacco shop. Lie about the fingerprints found in Cuss Typewriter. Say that proof is going to be used to paint. I will lie about the fingerprints. One thing proves it. The prints you left on Cuss Typewriter. Enough. Oh, of course you wiped the typewriter before sending it. But not carefully enough. Scotland Yard has found your print along with those of Cust. I understand why you never wanted to lend me your new typewriter. And why you were searching through your brother's things. And the hole you dug on the moors. Motherfuck, I read that. It's the hole you dug on the moon. <laughs> I'm gonna bury my fucking brother on the moon. What did you hide there? The knife you used to kill your brother? Game, set, match. You win, Mr. Poirot. But it was worth trying. <laughs> he always said he loved to meet the man on the moon. So I made him the man on the moon. Ah! Blanks, bitch. Blanks. You take me, Mr. Poirot. Walk up and kick him in the dick. Oh! That, that would still have killed you. That's no how blanks work. That would still have fucking absolutely rocked your world. <laughs> Try to kill yourself. Have a cry and a cup of tea. I'm sorry, Mr. Clark. There Usual. is no easy death for you. I expected your reaction, so I used blanks. I'm sorry, mademoiselle, but your second chance has been lost. Franklin Clark will never inherit his brother's fortune. But you will be killed by the sword this very afternoon. It was the Despite amazing cut. Having missed oh. the chance to become Lady Clark, Thora Gray left England. <laughs> what do we, what do we, what's going on? This is Dick Donbar. That's one of the. He was going to be the the other victim, wasn't he? Why is it him? Fucking <laughs> just disappointed by why she couldn't get married. She left England. What the fuck is happening? Donald Fraser and Megan Barnard married. That's nice. And I didn't get killed. Mary Drower started to work for Lady Clark. Ah, oh, that's the nice. Lady's condition suddenly took a turn for the better. Till she was stabbed and, a few months later, and buried on the moon. To Logan's great surprise, she was back on her feet again. According to this eminent physician, it appears to be an extremely rare case of spontaneous remission. Lady Clark has enjoyed very good health ever since. Oh shit. Wait, she was dying of cancer? What? What? Journal of an Innocent. Hey! An incredible story of ABC. As for AB Cust, after being advised by Poirot, he made a great deal of money by selling his story to the press. And as for me, and with business booming, the Black Swan has become the number one tourist attraction in the whole of Yorkshire. Why did that just change to Donald's voice? Why, wait, no. Why did that voice just go from English to Scottish? Like, mid-fucking sentence. Even more popular than York Minster. What just happened there? What was that? What the fuck was that? <laughs> well, that's the game! I, I don't understand what happened here. That voice... They're the same person? Wait, what? I don't even remember the Dick Donbar part. What was the... Did we ever meet Dick Donbar? Alright, oh, aye, that, that was meant to be, was that meant to be the, that fucking Donald would have been next kind of thing? Because he was actually Dick Donbar. I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> that was an ordeal. I feel like they maybe had the wrong name on the subtitles, you know, because of the way the game has been all the way through, but... Who knows? Imagine dropping accents like that. It's 
So I that was um That was an absolute shambles um that they put Agatha Christie's name on top of. Bless her. Bless that dead fucker that she is. Is she dead? I don't. I just assumed she was dead. Yes, she's very dead. She died in 76. <laughs> it's safe to say she's dead. <laughs> she's not going to get me. Let's see. Has there been... I, I didn't even look to see the, the voice acting. Tell you what, I'm going to check the... Um, the website I usually use to check voice actors. Uh, let's see. Oh wait! Oh, voice recording. What we got? Voice talent. Absolutely no way was there that many different voices. Absolutely no fucking chance was there that many different voices. Motherfucker. <sighs> Play testers. Use everyone who's fucked up. He's fucked it. So why that was your your mad fucking poiro? <laughs> what game is next? Um, well, it's either going to be. Well, it's up to you, isn't it? You just need to vote. We'll, we'll, I'll put a vote up after the stream. Um, I think all we've got left is Detention and Echo Knight. I think. Is that, is that the other two we've got to clean up? So, um, I, I'll do a wee Twitter poll thing. So, t tomorrow night we'll either be playing Detention or Echo Knight. Detention, Stina, is the, mind the, is it the Taiwanese school horror? Mind having to hold your breath while the ghosts went by and that. And Echo Knight is the, the kick in the head. Uh, so I, cheers for joining me. Um, all praise goes to the man. And, eh, uh, I just cheers for being part of this amazing uh, detective journey. I will not kick in the hit. What are you? What are you talking about? Don't even dare to remind me. I will not. It's just I will not kick in the head. Don't you dare remind me. I will not kick in the head. Um, I use all take care of yourself. Oh wait, the credits haven't finished. We need to watch to the end. Did I get any cool shit? God, there was so many more ego points to get. So many more. Oh! Oh, look! It shows up in them now, it seems. Oh no, it's just. Ooh. So it's just a timeline, wait. Ah, oh, fuck knows. Anyway. Eagle points. So, um. Aye, that was your. I don't know what's happening now. I'm probably gonna get some dinner and then gonna play some of that. Hell yeah. Why did the ABC stand for? Just because it was the railway thing. Just like for a running. It's like, you know, you had to kind of invent a serial killer for it to divert attention. You know? Anyway, I Cheers for joining me. Um, no, I'm I'm not streaming that Scientologist because it's it's kind of dog shit. 
it, it's, it's, it's never near as good as Oni Chambara. It's for the same people that make Oni Chambara, but it's nowhere near as good. And I can't wait for the next Oni Chambara game. We'll probably fucking stream that if it ever happens. It will happen. Said like, like what it was shot for. What do you mean? Maybe not. Stina, ABC was like the railway guide, and obviously, what's his name? AB Cust. What do you mean? What is there something I'm no? What's happening? What's happening here? Look at that. It said it there at the end. At the end? What? What? You mean the bit I was looking at? Or at the end of the game? Hold on. Look at that. Dirty bastard. Something about ABC and the words it stood for, but you didn't have time to read. And over back, so Justin. The cat. My cat is blocking the screen. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Address him by his proper name, please. The man is blocking the screen. Do you mean in this bit? Or in this bit? Or this bit? Tell you what, we'll play through the game the new, right? We'll, we'll play through it again. And we'll see. See if we can get the good ending. <laughs> right, I need to go and get my fucking dinner. Thank you for joining me. You be the best person you can be in your day to day life. You take care of each other. You brush your teeth. You wipe your ass. You sniff those stockings. And most importantly, disgusting of Turkey! <laughs>